uh, why are you buying these projects right now so i am going to go over a few cryptocurrency projects and you know if you are currently accumulating any of these projects or if you are accumulating you know any project very similar to what i'm about to show you guys uh, please let me know in the comment section the reason why you are accumulating right now uh what is your game plan and so what is your game plan and when do you plan on stop to, uh you know stopping the accumulation so again welcome back to the channel guys make sure that you subscribe if this is your first time and other than that let's jump straight right into these projects and talk about why are you accumulating what is your game plan and when do you stop the accumulation the first project that i would like to talk about is solana so solana is right now you know trading at 36 dollars and 40 cents so if you are someone that is accumulating solana right now you know i would like you know to know the reason you know why you are accumulating this project right now what is your game plan and when do you stop the accumulation uh, the reason why i'm asking this question is because this is a very very important question guys and i'm going to show you exactly you know, why i am actually asking this question so the number one reason why i'm actually asking this question is because i personally believe that anyone that is accumulating any old coin right now uh, it really doesn't matter you know what project it is you are more likely you know going to experience another 50 or 80 percent drop from our current price so when you look at the higher time frame you know this is the weekly time frame it is very very clear you know based on these indicators the solana right now is in a downtrend and there is absolutely nothing that is indicating that we are going to see a reversal to the upside and there is absolutely nothing that is indicating that a 26 dollar solana was the bottom of this bear market so we are in a downtrend you know based on you know the fact that we see a very clear downtrend we have lower lows and lower highs on the higher time frame and you also have of course the price of solana below this moving average on the higher time frame in an uptrend in a bull market you know you see the opposite the price of solana is above the 21 weekly ema and it is also above the 50 weekly EMA. But in a bear market and in a downtrend, the price of Solana is below the 21 weekly EMA, and we are also below the 50 weekly EMA. So this right here, guys, you know, despite the fact that we are down 80 plus percent from our old time highs, you know, when I look at something like this, it is very very clear that you know the end of this bear market is not twenty six dollar and it looks like you know we could potentially go lower and retest twenty dollars or even all the way down to around ten dollars so if you are accumulating solana right now you know what you are basically doing is that you are you know willing to take on a potential you know 50 percent decline or another potential 80 percent decline so if the price of solana goes to 20 dollars from our current price all the way down to 20 dollars you know that is a 44 percent decline if we go all the way down to $10, that is going to be a 68% decline. So 
if you are accumulating right now, guys, I mean, what you are basically doing is taking on, you know, unnecessary risk. And again, it's not just Solana, you know, it is uh, many, many old coins, basically all the old coins. Uh, it really doesn't matter what project it is. It can be Ethereum, it can be, you know, Cardano, it can be something else. But this is the risk that you are going to take on if you are accumulating any old coins right now. Uh, Solana could potentially go down to $20. And we could potentially go all the way down to around ten dollars. If we go to twenty dollars, that is a forty-four percent drop. And if we go to ten dollars, that is going to be a sixty-eight percent drop. So again, a huge risk that you are going to be taking on if you are accumulating Solana right now. And again, it is not just Solana. When you look at a project like Chainlink. Uh, very, very clear, guys, that we are in a downtrend when you look at the higher time frame. Chainlink is right now, you know, trading at $6.31. But if this levels, if this level is lost, right here, guys, you know, $5.28, most likely we are going to see you know, a $3 chain link. And if $3 is lost, we could potentially drop all the way down here to retest $1. So from our current price of $6.30, if we lose $5.28, this is going to be a 50% drop. In chain link, and if we lose three dollars and drop all the way down to a dollar and seventy seven cents, you know that is going to be a seventy one percent drop now chain link is a huge project that I am you know ridiculously very bullish on due to its fundamentals, but despite the fact despite the fact that this is a huge project with great fundamentals. You know, I do understand that we are in a downtrend. And instead of, you know, accumulating right now, you know, I personally would rather be on the sideline and just see what the next couple months are going to look like because I am not okay with, you know, a fact that we have a probability of going down another 50% or going down another 70%. You know, this is a risk that I wouldn't want to take on. And this is why, you know, I am asking this very, very important question that if you are accumulating right now, you know, why are you accumulating right now? Uh, you know, what is your game plan? And when do you stop the accumulation? Uh, there's a lot of people that are looking at many of these projects that are down 80 or 90 plus percent from their old time highs. Uh, it looks like, you know, the projects are undervalued. But if you actually zoom out and you look at the 2018 bear market and the 2015 bear market, it is going to be very, very clear that despite the fact that a project is down 90 percent from its old time high, this does not mean that it can go down another 90%. So you have to be extremely cautious, guys. Uh, the last project that I want to talk about is BNB. Again, very, very similar. You know, if you look at BNB right now, uh, very, very clear that we are in a downtrend. Again, lower lows and lower highs. Uh, the price of BNB well below you know the 21 and the 50 on the higher time frame and this is not what you want to see you know from a bullish out outlook and from a project that is most likely going to continue to go up so if bnb does not hold you know too 
$100 as a support right here, guys. This is a project that could potentially drop all the way down to around $45. If we go from our current price of $237 all the way down to $45, that is going to be a 41% drop. So if you are accumulating BNB right now, because the project is down, if we go from our all time high all the way down here, guys, because the project is down, you know, 70% from its all time high, you are basically, you know, taking on the risk of another 80% drop. Again, a $45 BNB can potentially play out. It doesn't have to, but when you look at where we are right now, I mean, this is your last potential support two hundred dollars if two hundred dollars is lost we don't have anything that's going to act as a support until we get all the way down to around 45 dollars so let me know in the comment section guys you know your thoughts on these three projects and again, if you are accumulating any of these pro any of these three projects, uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, the reason why you are accumulating or accumulating them right now, uh, your game plan and, you know, when do you stop the accumulation? Uh, other than that, guys, uh, again, if this was your first time, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, really, we are pushing towards 5,000 subscribers. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and also make sure that you like the video uh, really does help with the YouTube algorithm.